Hey guys, it's me, Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. How are you doing today? Yeah, we're going to talk about our favorite subject today, which is sales. I'm, I work in real estate, so what is our topic for today? Our topic for today is selling real estate in rural areas. Okay, sometimes people don't want to buy a house. They want to buy some land, and they want to build a house or put something on that dirt, maybe a mobile home, a modular home, or maybe they want to build the home of their dreams. So what you have to do as a salesperson, sometimes you got to get out there and go take Take a look at these properties before you actually take your customers out there. And let me tell you the reason why. If you go to some locations like today, I just went out to a beautiful location. It took me an hour, almost an hour and a half to find this location because it was out in the middle of the woods. And you don't want to embarrass yourself when you're working with customers trying to find a place. And on top of that, the place was so muddy. It was so dirty. I don't have a four wheel drive. So if you're out there working in the rural area, and you're wanting to sell real estate with it's got <laughs> trees and all kinds of crap on it you need to make sure you got four-wheel drive okay and I couldn't so I had to get out and walk for almost about 45 minutes out in the back of the woods to go take a look at this property and what I did for my customers is I did some little short videos and I sent them to them through a text so that way they could see the property because they're a long ways from here they don't live right here in Jacksonville they live in another state a long ways from here but it's it's another way for you to be able to help your customers see what's available on the market. And I'm out in the woods right now. And one of the things I'm telling you right now, guys, is there's a lot of work that needs to be done. There's a whole lot of work that's got to be done when you're out here trying to purchase uh, some property. Uh, you got to have what they call clearing. Do you know anybody who can clear the property for you? Do you know a builder? Do you know builders so that your customers can interview them? And can you get paid if you go ahead and get them a bill? Because, you know, we're in real estate and we want to make sure that, hey, we get paid. If we're out here helping the customer, that's what we're all about. We're trying to make some money. Now, remember, it's not always about you. So always look out for the best interest of what the customer wants. Sometimes customers, they want some big old properties and stuff. And sometimes they're cleared. And then sometimes they're not. And this particular one right here, if you'll notice, there's a lot of pine trees. It looks like at one time these people had planted these pine trees so if these people were to purchase this particular lot they may be able to harvest those trees and make some money that way they can go ahead and put it towards the brand new home that they're going to have to build on this and this particular location is like eight and a half i mean eight and a half acres it's a big old piece of dirt and then i went to the other one earlier and it was cleared but you couldn't really get through it because there was so much brush that had grown up over the last year or so that you really couldn't see it so you do need to get you one of them toys that's got a camera and you fly it up in the air okay so that way you can see it with an android you can see those things so you can look at the actual property that's what i gotta buy me now is i gotta get me one of those things so i can say well this is what the property looks like instead of physically having to walk through all that property not everybody wants to do that and some customers who want big old properties they like to walk the property just to see exactly what it looks like and if you notice on this particular one i got a sheet here so what what I do is I report back to my customers. I tell them what I see. I take some videos. I talk about, you know, is it in a flood zone? I'm also talking about what I see. Is there a dirt road that's close to? What's the dirt roads look like? Are they all muddy? Is the ground all wet? Is the ground look really bad and saturated? So does it, is it in a low area? So when you're selling real estate, I'm talking about in the rural areas. Okay, guys, you got to make sure that you look for those things that can cause the customer go what in the heck did you bring me here that place is soggy it's really really bad it's really really wet and you hope it's the rainy season when you go out and look because a lot of times when you buy property you don't even know if it's got if it's in the flood zone unless you look it up and you should always do that for your customers so that way you can make sure they buy a great investment because listen guys you're not dealing with just one sale today you want referrals and you want opportunities to sell and the key to success is like like I said, my name is Gary Lee Stanley. I am your real estate sales guy. You can check out my website at your 
realestatesalesguy.com and it will show you my exit because that's who I work for website and you can literally look at thousands of homes and properties or new construction. It's real simple to use and my simple job today is to just give you some confidence and say, hey, listen, if you're a buyer and you're looking to buy, you know, a beautiful property, you got to be able to ask good questions. You want to ask, is it easy for me to get to dining and shopping? It's in a rural area. Yeah. Now, how far is it? Do I have a lot of dirt roads and stuff? How bad are the roads? Do the roads look like they have a lot of potholes? Does it get really, really wet in those areas? Do I have, is it dry land? Is the land higher? Do they have trees on there we can sell, we can cultivate? Is there clearings? Is there ponds? Is there a lake? Is there a river? Is there a creek? And you want to ask these questions so when you go to buy your property or you're trying to sell it, that you can give your customers quite a bit of information now the mls will give you some information but i go out and i walk the properties and sometimes it's really bad and it's really hard so you have to be prepared you have to be dressed right and you want to make sure that when you're out there showing properties that you've been there okay if you go take it if you are on i had this happen to me when i first started we went and looked at properties this one couple and we were lost and mean we were lost and i was so embarrassed i mean but these people they were they wanted to look they wanted to see and so they rode around with me we looked at properties and stuff we got stuck in the dirt and the mud it was a pain and guess what they decided to buy a house that wasn't in the woods <laughs> they ended up buying something that was in a nice subdivision and i'm real glad for them but they had to see for themselves hey man because it's a lot of work when you go to buy a piece of property that's not been cultivated now this particular one there's no well on it there's no uh, there's no amenities like say for instance uh, do you got like a septic tank so you have to add those things and those become even costly they can be more costly so sometimes it may be cheaper to buy like a mobile home or something that's already set up on a piece of dirt and then build your dream home down the road that way you can pay off the property we got some folks the folks that like to just buy it plain out cash then they'll go ahead and sell their home and they'll come in and they'll build a home so you got to know some builders you got to get out there and talk to people you've got to ask questions because listen guys we're in real estate i sell real estate i don't sell cars so i got to know every aspect of my building as far as the products are concerned so when you're getting out there trying to sell real estate and it's in the rural areas or even if it's not maybe it's some piece of dirt that's in the middle of the city you want to know is there any liens on the property does anybody owe any money on that property have the people not paid their taxes on the property because those things could come back to bite you too you got to know all the ins and out when you're trying to sell a property and you got to make sure that you give the customer all the informed information let them take a look like i said if customers are busy during the week i'll go out and walk out in the woods i don't have a problem see how pretty it is out here there's a little bit of trails in some parts of the area you may not be able to get through and walk through but i walk around show some pictures send them some texts with some videos tell them about the property give them some insights so that way they can make a determination well i think we should go look at that and then i'll tell them the good the bad the ugly and the warts and all guess guess what guys you don't want to sell something and the customer not be happy with it within a short amount of time because then you lose all their confidence and down the road they may sell their home and want to buy something else or maybe they're buying their dream home and they're building it and if you didn't do your due diligence to find out hey it's in a flood zone oh crap then you haven't done your job we're in sales you know and i love selling i help people all the time buy you know just regular homes people want to buy a condo i help them do that i help them sell their homes but on occasion i got customers who are looking for property so they can build what they want and you have to tell them the truth because and you don't want to give them you give them your opinion but you got to let them make that buying decision if they want to come out and take Take a look at the property be dressed and prepared to get out there and enjoy it also remember guys if you got a full wheel drive and you're out there on them dirt roads it makes a lot of sense but if you got like a little small car okay good luck <laughs> Because I got one of them, and I, I may, eventually I may get a four-wheel drive. But today I had to walk for almost 45 minutes to an hour just to get to the property. And I'm thinking, I told my customer that. I let them know. So if you break down, this is where you're at. Also, look 
in the community to see what else is in the community. How far is it from the hospitals? How far is it from the schools? How far is it from the main roads? How far and what would it take to get to the interstate system? It's really important that you let your customers know these so they can have an informed buying decision. It also makes you look like the pro. It makes you look like you, hey, you ain't like the regular salesperson. You know a little bit about what you're doing. You know a little bit about what you're selling. And I've had to learn the hard ways, guys. I've lost some easy opportunities because I didn't know nothing. And when you don't know something, it's embarrassing. So always tell your customers if you don't know something, say, I don't know, but I sure can find out. And I've had customers who love me because I said, I sure can find out. <laughs> and today we just had a very simple conversation about buying real estate, okay, in the woods, in a rural area, or even in the city where there's a piece of dirt, somebody wants to buy it. So do me a favor, guys, just check out my website at your real estate sales guide.com and check out my website so that way if you're looking to buy a home or sell a home you got somebody who's real nice with a big old smile and a thumbs up and who can help you walk through the process now if you're a salesperson and if you're watching this video okay guys take this stuff to heart when you get out there you want to make sure you've been there you don't want to just show up one day and say let's go walking okay because man it can be crazy know what you're looking at know what you're showing and your customers will be really satisfied take videos be out there before they even get there look at the property tell them what the good the bad the ugly and the warts and are all about the property and then that way your customers can say thank you thank you thank you i'm glad i didn't buy that one i'll go ahead and buy that one okay we just got through talking about buying real estate okay in the country baby <laughs> in the rural areas or in a place that's just trying to sell some dirt okay we just had a great conversation hope you enjoy the video give me a thumbs up subscribe tell everybody about old gary lee hey it makes the algorithms go up so give me some thumbs up so people will say i like that guy i want to buy some what real estate from them because they're real nice i work for exit real estate gallery right here in jacksonville florida in the surrounding counties and check out my cool website at your real estate sales guide.com sign up and look at all the cool properties look at all the video look at all the properties and then heart the ones you like and we'll go out and see them i don't even care if they're out in the country we'll do our our best to get you what you want because remember when you're buying a home it's your house not mine and we just had a good time talking about what buying <laughs> property out in the woods it's tough okay so enjoy your day guys and hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you enjoyed this guys hey give me a call at 904-662-8933 if i can show you some property or a house or a condo okay all right